hello everyone welcome back to the power bi tutorials in this video we are going to see uh, that what are all the power query operations that we can perform over the numerical data using the power query editor up till now we have used the power query editor to transform or um, basically manipulate the data that was of um, textual type or the date or the time data okay but uh, in this video we are going to see that uh, what are all the power query operations that we can perform over the numerical data in power bi so for this purpose we have taken up a sample data set that is p6 superstore us 2015 it is in the form of an excel workbook and we have three excel sheets or tables that is the orders table the returns table and the users table if we just go to this orders table so we have three numerical columns that we are going to act upon there are numerous numerical columns but we are basically going to act upon these three numerical columns that is the quantity ordered the total sales and the profit okay so basically this is what we are going to work with these three numerical columns are going to be our point of concern so let us just load this order table but um, using this transform data tab now whenever we are using this transform data tab the table would be opened in the power query editor so that we can make some changes to it which is exactly what we wanted right so let's just see how it works okay so this is our data set that's being loaded if we just hover over it so these are the three things right the profit the quantity ordered and the sales data okay so what we can do is we can just select these columns using control click control click and control click uh, these three columns are selected and we can go to choose columns and select on choose columns okay so basically we can just uncheck them we are going to choose this um, basically profit quantity and sales and click on ok so what happens with this is these three columns would be extracted ok then we can just go to this add column option or transform column option both are giving us the same options the difference in the functionality is that add column adds a new column while transform changes the selected column so you can go to this add column option and as soon as we just click on this any of the numerical value we can see that from number functions are um, highlighted or they are enabled we can perform the operations like all these standard operations are possible the some of the scientific operations are possible the trigonometric operations are possible the rounding of the functions are possible and uh, some of the information is possible like uh, you need to find out what is the sign if the number is even or if the number is odd so for the profit column we can just go to this information and we can just click on the sign so what happens is we are getting the sign this is positive positive what is negative whatever it is negative or positive we are getting this output so basically we can find out that um, from where we are getting a profit and from where we are getting a loss a negative value in profit we are uh, sure that it is a loss right now what we can do is um, suppose we want to round off the profit or basically we want to round off the sales value okay so we can just go to the sales column and we basically want to transform it we want to change it to a rounded off value so we can go to this rounding option and we are going to round down okay so you can see now we have got the whole numbers or basically these values have been rounded down similarly we can also round off this profit thing by rounding it to down values rounding down means the lower value would be taken otherwise the upper value would be taken if you want to just check it uh, you can see that um, 4.56 if we just clicked on this round down then what happens is this 4.56 changes to 4 okay but if we just uh, remove this and we go to this round up option then this 4.56 changes to 5 so this is the difference between round up and round down whenever we are working with the profit or the sales data general purpose is to round down the value so that we are getting a rough estimate and um, 
basically um, the lower profits okay so that is what we have done we have rounded down the profit values we have rounded down the sales values uh, basically okay so we need to just round down the sales value as well because we just undid the step so the sales values rounded off was also undone so we can just again round down them and with this the sign column is also added okay so we can just say that how many quantities were ordered and the total sales value of this particular quantity that is for one quantity and this is the total quantity order so we can just multiply both of them to find out that what is the monetary gain that we obtained like a uh, one quantity or one thing was sold for like um 13 rupees or 13 whatever it is and uh, there were the four of total being sold so for that if we want to find out that what is the total amount of the um four quantities so we can just write 13 into 4 and we would be getting the output as like 52 so that's a simple thing and uh, for that purpose what we can do is we can just select these two columns by control clicking them and we can just go to this add column option because we want to add a new column of total sales or the total um, monetary gain whatever it is then we can just go to the standard option and we can just select this multiply now what happens is we are getting the multiplication values of each and everything that is um, um, what is the value that we get when we multiply these stuff with one another like this you can see okay so this is the uh, multiplication value and the uh, name the column that we have got is multiplication if we want we can just change it to say total simple total okay so this is the output that we have got of multiplication similarly if we just um, divide uh, like or uh, this is the profit for one quantity and if we can just multiply this profit and quantity thing so we would be able to get a total of profit as well so we can just control click them once again and multiply them together uh, like this and let's just change its name to say total profit total profit okay so that's absolutely correct now we can see here okay now what we can do if we just uh, like subtract the profit from the total value we would be able to find out the cost that what is the cost that uh, we are getting that commodity at so for getting the cost we can just write like uh, total minus total profit so this is the subtraction operation so for the subtraction operation you need to make sure one thing that whatever the value of the column is whatever the larger value is you need to first select that larger value then you need to select the smaller value like first the larger value and then you need to control select the smaller value because in power query editor the sequences in which you have selected the columns they also matter so the larger value the smaller value you can just go to standard and click on subtract and you can see that we have got the profit 36 rupees for the first one and uh, some 23,000 for the second one now the question is over here we are getting a total of 4642 but we are getting a negative profit which means we are getting a loss so automatically what happens is this value is added to it which means the cost uh, that uh, we bore was 5830 rupees but we had to sell it for 4642 rupees which means we are having this much of loss so we can just give it as the cost price like this so we would be able to get the total cost price of the things that we have um, uh, got or the different things okay now um, basically these are the different ways through which you can just perform the operation also there is one more thing like this is the cost price and if we just divide this cost price by the quantity so we would be able to find out the individual cost price like right now we are finding the cost price of the whole like if there are these four quantities so we are finding out the cost price of these four quantities that is this 36 is for four so if we want to find out the individual cost price we can select this cost price and uh, we can then just control click on this quantity thing 
and we can go to standard and click on divide so here is the division performed so we are able to find out the individual cost price that what is the individual cost price uh, of the item so we can just rename it as individual cp cp is for the cost price okay so this is how you can just get the individual cost price and uh, these are basically the different uh, operations uh, possible over the numerical data in power query editor and um, that's all for this video thanks for watching